everyone, this is Over Spider, and welcome back to a new video. So, this video is going to be about SpaceX DM2. SpaceX DM2 is a first planned crew test flight of the Crew Dragon spacecraft, and it is scheduled to launch for the ISS on May 30th, 2020, at 19:22 UTC. This is going to be the first crewed launch to the ISS from the US since the final space shuttle mission STS-135 in 2011, on which Douglas G. Hurley was a pilot. And Hurley is also going to be the spacecraft's commander on Crew Dragon Demo 2, joined by Robert Benkin as Joint Operations Commander. Crew Dragon Demo 2 will also be the first two-person orbital space flight launched from the US since STS-4 in 1982. The first attempt to launch on May 27th was aborted due to bad weather caused by the tropical storm Bertha at 16 minutes and 53 seconds prior to the launch. Douglas Hurley and Robert Benkin were announced as the primary crew on August 3rd, 2018 and both astronauts are veterans of the shuttle program and the Demo 2 flight is going to be the third trip to space for both of them. Unlike many previous missions, DM2 does not have a dedicated full backup crew. Instead, NASA astronaut Jill Lindgren is the sole backup member for the crew, backing up both for Hurley and Benkin for the mission. DM2 is intended to complete the validation of human-rated space flight using SpaceX's hardware. If successful, this demonstration flight will allow for human-rated certification for the Crew Dragon spacecraft and the Falcon 9 rocket, and also the crew transportation system, launch pad, and SpaceX's capabilities. And this mission also includes astronaut testing of Crew Dragon in orbit. This Crew Dragon will be launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from the Kennedy Space Center Launch Complex 39A at Cape Canaveral, and it is going to be docked to the Specialized Mating Adapter PMA2 on the Harmony module of the ISS on May 31st, 2020. Hurley and Benkin will work alongside the crew of Expedition 63 for 30 to 90 days, meaning that the landing of the spacecraft will occur no later than August 28th of 2020. Docking and undocking operations will be done autonomously, controlled by the Crew Dragon spacecraft, but it is to be monitored by the flight crew in case a manual intervention becomes necessary. The first stage booster will attempt to land autonomously on a floating barge, of course I still love you, which will be pre-positioned in the Atlantic Ocean. Upon its return to Earth, the Crew Dragon will splash down into the Atlantic Ocean and will be recovered by the Go Navigator recovery vessel. 